Hi Gophers, my name is Alex Pluto and welcome to Package Main Channel. Earlier this month, Google Cloud Functions team finally announced better support of Go, which uses Go 1.11, which has Go modules as we know. And in this video, I'm going to show how to write and deploy two types of functions, HTTP functions and background functions. HTTP functions are simply the functions that are invoked by HTTP request. They follow HTTP.handlerFunc type from standard library. In contrast, background functions are triggered in response to an event. For example, they may be triggered when there is a new message in Google pops up topic. Before we start, we need to make sure that we have a Google Cloud Platform account and billing enabled. Remember that there is always free tier when you sign up for Google Cloud. Once you set up your Google Cloud project, the next step will be to enable Google Cloud Functions. You can do it in uh, Google Console in the browser, or you can do it with gcloud tool. That's what I'm going to do now. gcloud services enable Cloud Functions Google APIs.com, so remember. Great, it's enabled. Now let's write a simple HTTP Cloud Function, which will generate a random integer and send it to Cloud PubSub. So first we should create a topic in PubSub, and we can also do it with gcloud command. gcloud Sub topics create and let's give it a name random random numbers. Now I will create a separate folder for our first function I will call it API and under this folder we will have api.go file. So now let's implement our HTTP function. So it will be a package API and now under this package, we should implement the entry point function. So we call it send, and as I said previously, it will follow http.handlerfunc type. So we should do like um, w response writer and request as http request. Right, so here will be our entry point. Now let's import the Go package for the PubSub and uh, create the client. So client error new client we should send a context here and the project ID. So first let's create a context. Uh, let it be background and uh, the project ID we can Let's send it with environment variables. So you will get env and with the project ID. We will send it later. Um, let's handle the error here. So if it's not new, we simply write right, right header HTTP. Internal server error, and um, let's write the error now. Let's do like this and just let's do return here. But we have our client um, now. Let's get the topic from this client so we can use client dot topic and it was random numbers so that will be a topic great now we should send we should first generate random integer and then send it there topic object has a function publish which also receives a context and a pointer to the message so it will be pubsub.message and then inside message let's see what do we have inside the message we have id and yeah we should send the data so and data is a slice of bytes and here we should 
generate our random number. So um, let's also convert to integer to string. And here we can use run int n. Let's give it like from zero to thousand. And the publish function will return some result to us. Also, if we use rand package in Go, we should call always run seed. We should call it once when we init our package, but since it's cloud function, we can do it right here. So it will set the source for deterministic value. And here we can use time.nar. Unix Nano, for example, just to make sure that they will be really random. And uh, from result, we can get actually the ID of our message we sent to PubSub and error. So let's get result.get and context again. And just let's do the same with an error. If it's not empty, we just send it back. Otherwise, we let's send this ID. And uh, and that's it. Um, yeah, and maybe some just to make sure that we have a status okay or something. Great. So here's our entry point sent, which follows the HTTP handler func. We create the client of PubSub. We connect to the topic and then we publish message. That's it. And then in case anything happened, we just send 500 error back. If all good, we send back the ID as a string. Now, as you can see, our function uses PubSub Cloud package. So we have to add it to the Go modules. And let's first initialize it. Let's set this magic variable, Go111 module is on, and then Go mod init. Oh, we'll create the file and then we can run go mod tidy. It will, it will check what dependencies are we using and it will download it. Yeah, and it will create go.sum. Also, it's very important to vendor your dependencies locally before you deploy the Google Cloud function. So let's do go mod vendor. It will basically create the vendor folder with all our dependencies. And now we can deploy our function and we can use gcloud tool for this as well. So let's switch to API folder and run gcloud alpha functions deploy and we give it a name API and we set the entry point. Let me close this for a second. It will be send and Runtime is go 111. And also, we say that it will be triggered by HTTP. And as you remember, we have project ID environment variable, so we can set it here set and vars project ID. Here, I'll just uh, enter my project ID. This deployment may take a while, it may take up to a few minutes. So let's wait. All right, our function is deployed. And uh, here we can see all information about it. And we can see the URL of our function. So let's just call it with URL and see what it will return us. All right, seems it's working fine. We got the ID from the PubSub. Now we can write a background function, which will be triggered by a new message in PubSub, which we are already sending. So let's create a new function and we will call it consumer. And uh, yeah, let's create package. And it will be sim simple entry point. We will call it, yeah consume but it won't be an HTTP handler function it will be a function which will return an error it will receive a context and it will receive an event 
and we should define the type for this event. What we know here that we will get a data as a slice of bytes. So let's have an event of this type and let's simply just log it like something like data event dot data and we don't have any errors so just return new okay so here's our simple function let's deploy it as well so let's go to consumer and uh, the command to deploy it is very similar Let's give it, of course, a different name, consumer. And then entry point will be the function consume. Runtime is the same. And a trigger is also different. It will be trigger topic equal the name of our topic we want to subscribe to. So in our case, it's random numbers. Right, and it will take some time to deploy it as well. All right, our background function is deployed. We don't have URL here because it will be triggered by the new message in PubSub. Also, as you can see, there is no Go modules files here because we don't use any third-party dependencies. All right, now this function is running in the Google Cloud. Let's just get the logs of it and then send some messages using our HTTP function. So we can use gcloud alpha functions logs read consumer and then in another window you can just see URL our API a few times. Right, it gives us different IDs and yeah, let's get some logs if you can see these IDs. All right, we can see some random integers here. Great. And now let's just delete everything what we've created to make sure that we don't spend any money on this. So we can do gcloud alpha functions delete API. Yes. Then delete consumer. And then let's also delete a pops up topic. Random numbers. All right, we're done with our functions. They seem to work pretty fine. Please share your experience with Google Cloud Functions in the comments below. Any issues you have encountered? Was enough functionality there to build what you want? I hope it was interesting and helpful and uh, see you later.